So let's talk about animated GIFs and accessibility. It's a question I see quite a lot on the web. Uh, I see it uh, even at work, and it's just a, a general uh, question about whether animated GIFs are accessible at all, and if not, uh, how can we make them accessible? Well, the good answer is you can, for the most part, make them accessible. Um, there are a few hard and fast rules, but generally it's quite a divided topic in terms of accessibility. So what I can do is I can put forward uh, some good tips, and this is essentially uh, kind of the best middle ground for making animated GIFs accessible. Um, the first thing is, uh, obviously do not have autoplay set up uh, to automatically play GIFs. Uh, make sure that they stop after five seconds. Make sure that users are presented with a way to pause it and that they have alt text and they especially do not contain any blinking or flashing. You should also ask yourself if there is another way that the message can be communicated. Would a still image uh, do? Um, and maybe think about a way of foregoing the animation or just switch to a, an embedded video altogether. A very useful tool when checking your GIFs for flashing may be a photosensitive epilepsy analysis tool. And this checks to make sure that someone who's viewing your GIF won't uh, suffer from a seizure uh, because they may be sensitive to flashing imagery, uh, flashing imagery or lights. So there you go. Um, that is animated GIFs and accessibility. My name's Harry and I'll catch you in the next one.